2022 World Cup, Japan shocks the world and defeats Germany 2-1. Thanks to goals from Ritsu Doan and Takuma Asano, who were ironically both playing their club football in Germany. But they weren't the only one. Japan's roster consists of eight players in the Bundesliga, which accounted for 30% of their roster. However, the Bundesliga has been the main destination for Japanese players for decades, as the German top flight has attracted three times more Japanese talent than any of the other top five leagues. So why do so many Japanese players choose to play in the Bundesliga? Well, this long and prosperous relationship between the Japanese and the Bundesliga had to begin somewhere, specifically with someone. His name, Yasuhiko, Okudera. He would be the first Japanese footballer to play professionally in Germany, and he probably didn't know it at the time, but he would blaze the trail that many of his countrymen would follow. Now, the Japan national team was touring Germany, and their manager, Hiroshi Nenomina, arranged for some of his players to train with German clubs. Yasuhiko, he trained at FC Köln. And after a couple training sessions, he was offered a pro contract from the Billy Goat's legendary manager, Hennis Weissbeiler. However, it wasn't as simple as saying yes and accepting the contract. He worked at Furukawa Electric, and he also played for their football team. Because back in the 1970s, Japan didn't have a professional league. The J-League wasn't established until 1992. Back then, they only had an amateur league. But in the end, Yasuhiko would get the approval from the Japan FA, his family, and Furukawa Electrics as he accepted the offer from FC Kun. This was huge because no Japanese player had ever played abroad. New country, new language, new surroundings, over 5,000 miles away, a 16 plus hour flight from Chiba to Cologne. Plus, Yasuhiko wasn't even a pro. Obviously, Vice Viola must have saw something in him to offer him a contract because you just don't offer all amateurs professional contracts, but there was no guarantee that Yasuhiko would make it. Moreover, his decision was frowned upon in Japan. Tatsuro Suzuki, a Berlin-based translator and coach, explains, quote, he was branded as a traitor of the nation and, quote, at the time, it was a no-no to go abroad. The 1977-78 season was Yasuhiko's first Bundesliga campaign, and right off the bat, he was part of FC Kun history. Because he would help the Billy Goats win their third Bundesliga title, and he came up big down the stretch. Recording four goals in the final three matches as Kun was able to hold off the rivals Borussia Mönchengladbach by goal differential to lift the Meisterschale. Also, he played huge minutes in the DFB Pokal as Kun went on to lift that trophy as well. So in Yasuhiko's first season in Germany, over 5,000 miles away from home, no Japanese player had ever gone abroad and played professionally. He helped FC Kun to their first Bundesliga title in roughly 15 years. Their second DF people count in a row, and it's the only time in Kun's history that they've won the double. Then in Yasuhiko's second season in Northwest Germany, he made even more history as he became the first Asian player to score in the European Cup. Yasuhiko netted an 85th minute goal versus Nottingham Force in the first leg of the semifinals. The match would end 3 3. But unfortunately for the Billy Goats, they would lose the second leg 1-0 as Forrest would go on to claim European glory. If you guys are enjoying the video, if you could please hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel grow more than you know. It's free to do. So just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're enjoying the video as well for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. Let's continue with the video. The 1979-1980 season would be Yasuhiko's last for FC Kun, as manager Heinz Weissweiler would depart the club. Yasuhiko would make approximately 75 appearances for the Billy Goats, telling roughly 15 goals. And while he was only there for three seasons, Yasuhiko was part of one of the greatest periods in FC Kun's history. Yasuhiko would then spend one season at Hertha Berlin before joining Werder Bremen, where he would make approximately 159 appearances across five seasons for Dai Werderana. And they came as close to winning the league as you can, but not winning the league. Because in the 84-85 and 85-86 seasons, Bremen finished tied in first for points, but were denied the Meisterschale due to goal differential thanks to Hamburg and Bayern München respectfully. And the 85-86 season would be Yasuhiko's last in Germany. 
After nearly a decade and overall 250 appearances later, Yasuhiko would return to Japan. However, the precedent he set nearly 50 years ago, becoming the first Japanese player to leave Japan, play professional football in Germany, and have as much success as he did in the Bundesliga, would be a template or recipe that all future Japanese players would look to replicate. And who knows, without Yasuhiko Okudera taking that leap of faith, the Bundesliga might not be the main destination for Japanese players. Now, while Yasuhiko was the pioneer and leads the way for Japanese players in the Bundesliga, there are some cultural similarities and other elements that make Germany such an attractive destination for Japanese talent. Because for footballers to be successful in a foreign country, it takes a lot more than just the club you play at. And I think as fans, sometimes we forget that. They aren't at the stadium or the training facility 24 7 They're human beings, just like you and me. And I'll get to those factors here in a second. Before I do, I want to give you a quick list of some Japanese Bundesliga royalty and some of the Japanese players playing in the Bundesliga this season. First, we'll start with Narahiro Takahara. The striker who played in Germany from 2002 to 2008, where he made over 100 appearances for Hamburg, made nearly 50 appearances for Frankfurt, and he scored roughly 15 goals for both clubs. Right back, Atsuto Uchida made over 100 appearances in the Bundesliga from 2010 to 2017, all with Schalke, and he helped the Royal Blues win the 2011 DFP Pokal. Another Japanese right back that had a long career in the Bundesliga was Gotoku Sakai. He made over 100 appearances for Stuttgart from 2012 to 2015 and did the same for Hamburg from 2015 to 2019. Next up is Shinji Okazaki. And you might remember he was part of that miraculous Leicester City team that won the Premier League. Well, Okazaki also spent four seasons in Germany, two with Stuttgart and then two with Mainz. He is the second highest Japanese goal scorer in the Bundesliga with 37 goals. And I could be wrong, but based off the research that I did, he has scored the most goals by a Japanese player in a single Bundesliga season as he found the back of the net 15 times in 2013-2014. Two of the more recent Japanese players to grace the Bundesliga are Daishi Kamada and Wataru Endo. Kamada spent all four seasons at Eintracht Frankfurt where he notched approximately 40 goals and 33 assists and he played a massive role in the Eagles winning the 2022 Europa League. Endo also participated in German football for four seasons. It was actually the same four years as Kamada, 2019 to 2023. Made over 100 appearances for Stuttgart before joining Liverpool this past summer. And a little fun fact for you, I believe Endo is only the eighth Japanese player to play in the Premier League, which is kind of hard to believe because nearly 40 Japanese players have played in the Bundesliga and the connection is real. Japanese players love playing in the Bundesliga and in Germany in general, which I will get to in a bit, so keep watching. On to probably the most well-known Japanese player to play in the Bundesliga, or at least the most successful, and that's none other than Shinji Kago, the two-time Bundesliga winner and two-time DFP Pokal winner with Borussia Dortmund, where he made over 200 appearances from 2010 to 2012 and 2014 to 2019. His best season for the Black and Yellow came in the 2011-12 season, which saw him notch 13 goals and 12 assists, as Dortmund won their second straight Bundesliga title and won the double as they lifted the DFP Pokal trophy that season as well. On top of all that success, Kagawa is the all-time leading Japanese goal scorer in the Bundesliga as he ended his time in Germany with 41 top flight goals. So those are some of the Japanese players of the past. Let's move on to current Japanese players applying their trade in the Bundesliga. And why don't we begin with a guy that spent over 15 years in Germany. That seems like a pretty good place to start. Makoto Hasebi has made 382 Bundesliga appearances and counting. He began his German football career all the way back in 2008 with Wolfsburg, and at the end of his first season, he was lifting the Bundesliga trophy. Hasebi would play four more seasons with the Wolves, making over 150 appearances. He then played one season for Nuremberg before joining Eintracht Frankfurt in 2014, and he's still there. Hasebi just crossed over 300 appearances for the Eagles, and at the age of 40, the season vet is still going. Over his 10 years with the club, he's got two pieces of silverware to his name, the 2018 Dia Pokal and the 2022 Europa League. Plus, I'm sure Hasebi has been a huge help for new Japanese players coming into the Bundesliga, drawing on his near endless amount of experience, you know, to give them advice, tips, and just to help them settle into life in Germany. 
Now, including Hasebi, there are nine Japanese players in the Bundesliga currently, which is the most across the top five leagues. Second is the Premier League, which has just four. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the other eight, and then I'm going to get into why the Bundesliga is the main destination for Japanese football. Starting with Stuttgart, they have three Japanese players on their squad. Denki Hiraguchi, who's actually been playing in Germany since 2014, has been at a number of clubs. He's made over 150 appearances in the Bundesliga. And Stuttgart is also home to youngsters Ami Chase and left back Hiroki Ito. Borussia Mönchengladbach sees two Japanese players on their roster, 19-year-old Shio Fukuda and center back Ko Itakura. Finally, Ken Soto plays for Werder Bremen, Ritsu Doan is at Freiburg, and Takumo Asano represents VFL Boko. So you have all these talented Japanese players playing in the Bundesliga right now, and you have so many that have come before them. Why is that? Why do, does pretty much all of Japan's talented footballers come to play in the Bundesliga? The short answer is, it feels like home. In an article written by ESPN in November of 2022, Berlin-based translator and coach Tatsuro Suzuki, who I quoted earlier in the video, also stated, Germany is the country in Europe where Japanese generally have an easier time getting along, end quote. Plus, Germany has one of the highest Japanese populations in Europe, and it's pretty easy to find authentic Japanese food. As Suzuki also mentioned, quote, restaurants in Asia markets are spreading across the country, and you're able to eat just like you do in Japan. For many Japanese, food plays a crucial role in terms of their standard of living end quote germany feels like a home away from home for the japanese you know and it started with okudera in the 1970s then kagawa and hasebe in the early 2000s and it's just grown from there in addition to that it seems japanese players fit perfectly into the mold of what the bundesliga is all about in the same espn article dan orwitz a tokyo-based reporter said quote i think bundesliga clubs see japanese players as dedicated hard workers who play for the team and don't have egos which fits the dynamic over there. Who they are as people and players is what the Bundesliga is all about. And the Bundesliga obviously wants to grow the league across the world. And one of the biggest and probably untapped markets in terms of world football is Asia. So when you have all these talented Japanese players playing in your league, it's great for the Bundesliga. Plus, it's great for German football as a whole. Check this out. The total number of Japanese players playing in Germany across all their leagues, according to Soccer Way, is 54. From the Bundesliga all the way down to the sixth tier, 54. And second is Spain. And according to Soccer Way, only 27 Japanese players are playing there. So it isn't just the Bundesliga where Japanese players want to play, but it's Germany as a whole. Also, I have to mention the irony of Japan beating Germany in the 2022 World Cup. Eight of Japan's players were playing in the Bundesliga, which, as I said in the intro, was nearly 30% of the roster. And the goal scorers, Ritsu Doan and Takuma Asano, were and are still playing in the Bundesliga. That was the first time that Japan and Germany had ever played in an international competition. Like I said, you know, pretty ironic considering that the big players for Japan's team all were thanks to the development you know, that came from them playing in Germany, playing in the Bundesliga. But that link between Japanese players and German football has been growing for over 50 years. And now it's cemented because so many Japanese players have gone to Germany and had such long and successful careers. That connection, that bond, it's so strong. It's, it's like unbreakable. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the relationship between the Japan Federation and the German Federation has now been close for decades. And that partnership has also played a big role in all of this as well. Beginning with Okudera in the 1970s, to the players who came after him, the similarities in culture, and just years and years, decades and decades of building this rapport between Japan and Germany that comes to the beautiful game is why there have been so many, there currently are, and I'm sure will be, so many Japanese players playing in the Bundesliga.